All right, I just woke up from the craziest actual dream ever. So I was just playing in my bed, and um, I fell asleep. And um, it was just like it was recurring to parallel times. There's a grand grand war going on. We're fighting these machines or AI or something. But I activated my energy to Christine, and it was like electricity just coming, pure electricity coming off of my hand in this parallel dimension. And what we do is uh, I like to jump everywhere into different in float and I like rescue I look I look I like kind of found my powers again and um, there was this fire chief that I saw and I wanted him to bring hammers and stuff because like I can like jump and throw and lasso stuff with my arms and stuff and jump like really strong and the whole city is like destroyed there's just like cliffs everywhere and I was in, and then I, then I saw myself in my apartment, and this P-52 crashed right in between my apartment, and this general, they're all trying to restart their machines and engines, and they use a, um, they use phones as receivers, and they were using my, my phone as a transceiver to their, to their officers and stuff, and I found it, and so I started recording them in between, and the, the officer came in. He was trying to he was trying to confiscate my material because I was recording them. And uh, my whole body was being shocked. And there's a guy above me in the apartment where he didn't stop. He was trying to like stop them, so they they killed him because he was like going against operations of the military. And. Um, but for some reason, like I was like I like retained my ability to like be there, and then then the timeline started like shifting where like everything became gooey and like cartoon cartoony too, and like my whole apartment was changing. It was like black goo or like blue purple goo or whatever, like on the walls. Like, my apartment was like degrading, and then it all like morphed back together too, and like this war is just like really intense and. He called himself Mav, Mave or something, Mave, I think. And they were just trying to like jumpstart the vehicle and get out of it there because, like, my electrical storm of my energy caused, like, this shit to go down. But they didn't know that it was me that, that, that like, caused, like, the malfunction. So I'm just, like, trying to, like, hold on to my power. And, like, it was, like, really intense. And um, they finally get together and the guy flies out into, like, some different dimension. I'm just kind of like, I have my utility still, and it starts raining outside the window of my apartment, and my my laptop that recorded everything, like, fell off the roof, but I caught it, I caught it with my hand, and I pulled it back up, and then that, that's, like, when I woke up, and I decided to record what I saw, and it was, it was just like old music. It was like Beach Boy music that was being played and like Maeve's, Maeve's favorite movie, music. And uh, it was just I, like, I, everything just happened so fast and I was like in it. And Christine was connected to it too because I was like trying to activate her energy while I was in the dream. Like sending her electricity, I sent her electricity through my hands to her. And this was all occurring because we were activated. And that's about it. That's like kind of what all I saw. But it was really intense. Very, very parallel existence of some sort. That it's like colliding on this timeline. And and they're just not telling anyone what's going on. And it, it's like this big war. And, and we're all part of it.